Tony Stewart surprised everyone, even the insiders, when he announced his plans to leave NASCAR at the end of the 2024 season. Stewart is widely recognized for his contributions to the sport, but he pointed to several reasons for his decision, including issues with NASCAR's current structure and financial challenges faced by his team, Stewart Haas Racing. The struggles for Stewart Haas Racing started due to the financial strain of operating as a four-car team. In NASCAR, sponsorship is crucial because team operations are costly. Without a solid lineup of sponsors, teams struggle to remain competitive, especially when the cost of maintaining high-performance cars and crews are so high. So in this video, we'll delve into the multiple factors that led to Stewart's exit and explore what this means for NASCAR's future. Tony Stewart has voiced his reasons for this major move, pointing to both financial and organizational issues within the NASCAR ecosystem. As the landscape of motorsports has evolved, Stewart and his team have faced numerous hurdles in terms of sponsorship, operating costs, and shifting audience preferences. His departure, along with the closure of SHR, brings to light significant challenges NASCAR faces, particularly for mid-sized teams without the level of financial support seen among the sport's top-tier organizations. One of the biggest issues Stewart cited was the challenge of securing consistent sponsorships. Sponsorships are the financial backbone of any NASCAR team, especially for those with multiple cars, like SHR's four-car team. Sponsors contribute millions of dollars that cover the essential cost of running a team, from salaries and car maintenance to travel expenses. Without enough sponsor funding, teams face a steep uphill battle to remain competitive on the track. In NASCAR's earlier days, sponsorships were more straightforward. The sport enjoyed strong partnerships with companies willing to invest heavily in advertising on cars, driver suits, and team branding. Sponsors were drawn to NASCAR's massive audience, which in turn gave companies an opportunity to promote their brands to millions of fans. But as the years have gone by, the advertising landscape has changed significantly. Companies now have a broader range of marketing options, from social media and digital platforms to more targeted, data-driven advertising channels that were not available in NASCAR's early days. The shift in marketing strategy means fewer companies are willing to commit to NASCAR sponsorships, where returns on investment are harder to measure and not as directly tied to sales. For SHR, the struggle to secure sponsorships became particularly apparent in recent years. As Stewart has explained, it's not just about getting sponsors, it's about finding long-term committed partners who will stand by the team season after season. This lack of stability in sponsorships made it increasingly difficult to ensure SHR's future in NASCAR, especially compared to some of the sport's larger and more financially robust teams. Running a four-car NASCAR team like SHR comes with high expenses. Each car requires a full crew, including mechanics, engineers, spotters, and a pit crew. Maintaining a competitive team also means investing in top quality equipment and technology, as well as staying on top of updates and innovations that can make or break a team's success on the track. All of these factors add up, making the cost of operating a multi-car team exceptionally high. The NASCAR calendar is long and grueling, Teams must prepare for numerous races spread across different locations, which involves significant travel costs and logistics planning. Each race involves transporting not only the cars, but also the entire team, equipment, and sometimes backup vehicles. The expenses associated with travel, lodging, and logistics are substantial and must be met week after week. While large teams like Hendrick Motorsports or Joe Gibbs Racing often have the financial backing to absorb these costs, teams like SHR face greater difficulties in balancing their budgets. Stewart has been candid about how tough it has become to sustain such an operation without reliable sponsorship. The rising operational cost, combined with inconsistent sponsor support, created a financial strain that ultimately became unsustainable for SHR. Aside from financial issues, Stewart also pointed to ongoing frustrations with NASCAR's leadership. Stewart has not shied away from voicing his opinions about the sport's management and has been open about his concerns regarding certain NASCAR policies and changes. In his view, NASCAR's leadership has not been fully supportive of team owners 
are responsive to their needs. One of the issues that Stewart and other team owners have highlighted is the distribution of revenue within NASCAR. NASCAR's financial model, which includes broadcast revenue, sponsorships, and other income, is structured in a way that some team owners feel unfairly benefits the organization more than the teams. Stewart believes that NASCAR could do more to support teams financially, especially given the high cost of operating in the sport. Over the years, NASCAR has implemented various changes from adjusting car designs to introducing new safety measures and even modifying race formats. While some changes have been well received, others have sparked controversy among drivers, team owners, and fans alike. Stewart has been vocal about his belief that NASCAR's focus on attracting new viewers, sometimes at the expense of longtime fans, has diluted the sport's traditional appeal. For Stewart, these issues with NASCAR's leadership contributed to his overall frustration and influenced his decision to step away. While he acknowledges a change is necessary for any sport to grow, he's questioned some of NASCAR's recent decisions and feels that his voice, as well as those of others of team owners, have not been fully heard. The closure of Stuart Haas Racing will be a significant loss for NASCAR. SHR, which Stuart co-founded with Gene Haas in 2008, quickly became one of NASCAR's most competitive teams. Over the years, SHR has achieved numerous victories and championships, solidifying its place in the sport's history. The team's success has also served as an inspiration for other mid-sized teams, proving that with the right leadership and commitment, even teams without the largest budgets can compete at the highest level. Stewart's legacy extends beyond his driving achievements. Through SHR, he provided a platform for many talented drivers, mechanics, and engineers to showcase their skills and contribute to NASCAR's vibrant community. SHR's departure will not only impact the fans, but also the team's staff and all those who have been a part of the organization over the years. For NASCAR, losing a team like SHR raises important questions about the sport's future. The departure of such a high-profile team brings to light the financial difficulties faced by many teams and underscores the need for a more sustainable economic model. NASCAR will likely need to address these issues if it hopes to retain other teams and continue attracting new talent to the sport. While Stewart's NASCAR chapter may be coming to an end, he's not stepping away from motorsports entirely. He's expressed interest in focusing on other racing ventures, particularly those that allow him to reconnect with the grassroots racing and the dirt track community. In recent years, Stewart has been involved in the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series and embraced a different side of the motorsport world. For Stewart, dirt track racing represents a pure form of competition, one that aligns with his love for racing and allows him to connect with a passionate fan base on a more personal level. By shifting his focus to grassroots racing, Stewart is not only following his personal interest, but also supporting a segment of motorsports that he feels deserves more attention and investment. His experience and influence in the motorsports industry make him a valuable asset, not just for NASCAR, but for motorsports as a whole. Tony Stewart's departure and the closure of Stewart Haas Racing shows a broader trend within NASCAR and professional motorsports in general. The economic landscape for racing has become increasingly difficult for mid-sized teams, which often find themselves squeezed between the highly funded top-tier teams and the smaller teams that operate on limited budgets. For NASCAR, Stewart's departure is a wake-up call. As one of the sport's most outspoken and beloved figures, his criticisms and concerns shows the need for NASCAR to reassess its business model and address issues that affect team owners, drivers, and other stakeholders. In the end, don't forget to comment down your thoughts on this. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button as well.